This is a short video on doing integration in your calculator. Three different kinds of integration. A simple integration, a definite integral integration. One in which we uh, can compute the average of a function over a selected period. And also something called a moving average, which is an average at a particular place looking back uh, so many units or years in this case. So the problem is bottled water sales from 1993 to 2000. And uh, here's the function. It's actually a rate of change function. You can see because of the units say gallons per year. So you tell me a year, I'll tell, many, tell you how many gallons per year uh, were sold of bottled water. So the first question I'm going to ask is, uh, what is the total sales? What is the total sales from 1993 to 2000? Then I'm going to ask the question: What is the average rate of sales from 1993 to 2003? And then finally, what is the two-year average sales in the years 1993, 1998, and 2003? Okay, so I have this rate of change function. I'm going to put it in the calculator. Here it is in Y1. And then what I need is I need to have my three integral functions in the calculator. If I'm going to do this multiple problems, I think I want to store it away and use solver in order to make this process a lot easier. I don't spend a lot of time typing. So what you're going to need to do is enter these three different flavors of the integral into y8, y9, and y0 in your calculator. So here's the basic integral over a definite integral over a given in input interval. So you want to type this one in. And uh, after I show these, you can go back and stop the video one at a time and type them in. Here's the in average value of a function. You can see it's the integral divided by the interval that you're uh, integrating over, which gives you the average value of a function. And finally, this one is the moving average. You evaluate it at some place B, and then you look backwards a distance A, and then you have to divide by that interval or that distance A in order to get the average of that looking back, that moving average. And here's what you need to type in Y0. So uh, you can one by one uh, stop the video and type those in. And now I'm going to continue. So I have those three in my calculator. And if you need to, you can stop the video right now and uh, make sure that your calculator looks like my calculator. All right. Now we're going to move on. And we're going to answer the first question. What is the total uh, sales of bottled water from 1993 to the year 2003? Well, 1990 is zero. So how we get started in this process? We hit the math key. We go down to solver. We load up solver. And then up at the top here, I got to go all the way to the top. I scroll. I clear it out. I hit the vars key, y vars function, and then I scroll down to y8, which is where the basic integral is loaded in my calculator. And now I just got to tell it. Uh, first of all, you should notice that in every one of these cases, there's this x variable appears in solver, and we just ignore that. It's not part of solver. It's just an artifact of trying to use solver to do this. So we ignore whatever value is in there. It has no bearing on the calculation. So I want to start at 3, which is 1993, and I want to go to 2003, which is 13. And then I put my cursor down on I, and I do alpha. You remember? Alpha, solve. Alpha, solve. And we wait for a second. It's thinking, and uh, now it's done. It's 43,296. So there were 43,296 million gallons uh, sold in that period. Okay, uh, That's the total. Notice how the answer is just millions of gallons. It's not millions of gallons per year now. By integrating, we found the total. Okay, The next question was, 
what is the average rate of sales? What is the average rate of sales? So over that whole period, if I kept putting a different time in, I would get a, a sales rate for that year and another year. But now what if I want to get the average rate of sales for the entire time period? Well, to do that, i got to load up my average function, my average integral function. And that happens to be in Y9. So I'm going back. I'm clearing. I'm putting Y bars function. And now I'm loading up the average value function, the average value integral, rather. And uh, up in Y1 is still my function that I'm interested in. That's the rate of change function. Now I'm trying to find the average rate of change function. So back to solver here. Uh, nothing. It all looks the same. It looks like it's the same calculation, but it really isn't because Y9 is loaded now. So I'm going to alpha solve again. And I'm going to wait here. And it's no surprise that I get 43.29. Why do I get 43.29? Because that's the total sales that I just had, 43,290. Uh, and then I divided by 10 years from th 3 to 13. So it's no surprise that the average uh, rate of bottled water sales is 4,329. OK, so we're on to the last question, which is what? What is the two-year average sales in 1993, 1998, and 2003? So I expect these numbers to be similar to the one I just computed, but not quite the same. Not quite the same. So I need to load the average value integral, which is y in y0. So I'm clearing that out. I'm hitting the VARS key. I'm loading in Y0, which is the average, moving average uh, integral function. Now, this one's a little different because B is where you're trying to take, where you're trying to take the moving average. So the first part of this question was in 1993, which happens to be 3. So I put in 3 for B. And A is how far back I'm going to look. So in this case, it's 2. So A is how far back I look. And then now I'm going to take the average. So I expect it to be somewhere around in the neighborhood of 4,300. 4, so it's thinking, and it gets 25. Now, to take it in a different year, for example, 1998, I just put in 8 for B and alpha enter. And it's thinking, and it's thinking. And I get 38, 40, 38, 38. And now I'm going to look in the year 2003. Right, so that would be putting 13 in here for B. In every case, I was looking two years back, the two-year moving average. So A did not change. A did not change. So here I am looking back, and I get 59.53, 59.53. OK? So if I wanted to, I could change the problem. I could say, what's the three-year average? In which case, I would change that to a 3. And I could go back and look again. Back in the year uh, 1993 would be 3. And then I would do alpha solve again. So I could go through this entire exercise again, the same three years, but looking back three years, a three-year moving average. Okay, And the number changes slightly from before. So that's the idea. Integration in your calculator. Simple integration. Integration to find the average value of a function. Integration to find the moving value, moving average of a function.